Vice President C.D. Constantino Chuenga stated yesterday that Zimbabweans must turn out in large numbers to vote for ZANU-PF candidates in the by-election scheduled for Saturday as the Second Republic has greatly fulfilled its electoral promises in the past and present. ZANU-PF wanted those in positions of authority to make sure that they fully executed the initiatives oriented toward Vision 2030. Vice President Chiwenga stated that the President Umningadwaled government had already made progress in implementing high-impact programs in a brief amount of time. These included building roads, dams, urban renewal, rural transformation, agricultural and irrigation development, urban renewal, devolution, and ICT development. The Bight Bridge Border Transformation Project cost $300 million. He enumerated some of the accomplishments while speaking at a political event in Ward 7 at Bishopstone Estate, which drew hundreds of party supporters in an effort to promote C.D. the Sunni Masathandu. The ZANU-PF candidate for the Bight Bridge West constituency. In addition to building a new fire station, new clinics, new schools, and an animal plant and quarantine center in Bight Bridge. They also included the construction of a five, 1km dual carriageway that connected the port of entry to the main highways that lead to Bulawayo and Harare, 220 new homes for border workers, irrigation project rehabilitation, and enhancing the ability of crop and livestock farmers to increase production. Vice President Chiwenga remarked, The Bight Bridge West community has an opportunity to right the wrong they committed when they voted for a legislator from a Western-sponsored opposition party. The CCC. ZANU PF's disorganization and lack of philosophy have brought us to this point, so we must band together and support them in order to guarantee that we have a strong team to spearhead progress from the bottom up. Our party does not exist to propagate theories or folklore. Delivery is our strength, and you have all seen the progress we have made since the Second Republic took office. Since ZANU PF is a people centered revolutionary party, it is imperative that Zimbabweans support the party no matter what. The party was staying on the course that President Umningadwa had established for the country's growth. Now that the revolutionary party was more powerful than ever, it was critical that everyone move forward with a single, common goal. The government has been rolling out a lot of major projects across the country, including in Bight Bridge West, and we have made good progress. He stated, the Bight Bridge community is commended by the party for remaining loyal to ZANU-PF from the beginning of the liberation struggle. But in order for us to continue to be dominant, we must win back the Bight Bridge West seat on Saturday. To that end, I implore you to cast your ballot for ZANU-PF in large numbers, along with giving 10,000 chicks to Bight Bridge West residents. Vice President Chiwenga stated that the government was aware of certain issues with community service delivery and that these were already being addressed. We will keep restoring people-centered service delivery under our direction. Vice President Chiwenga stated, Let's encourage every registered voter to cast their vote for our candidates. I've brought a government drill rig here to drill 10 boreholes in specific wards that are very low on water for livestock and household use. We want to see communities establishing more horticulture projects so that they may improve their household income. The statement reads, The drilling begins immediately. Considering that raising livestock was one of the main economic pillars. Tick grease and additional stock feeds would be provided to Bite Bridge to increase livestock productivity. In the district, a number of presidential input programs that were being implemented nationwide such as the distribution of inputs for small grains, cattle, goats, and poultry, had begun to show results. Since the country was now producing more power as a result of Units 7 and 8 at Wang being added to the national grid, plans were already in place to solve the problems with the power supply through the Rural Electrification Fund. The Pichawenga stated, we are implementing the massive fisheries project at Zove Dam and Bike Bridge West where fingerlings are being produced for distribution to thousands of beneficiaries to ensure people benefit from water bodies around them. In order to address food nutrition security, work is also currently being done to renovate the irrigation schemes at River Ranch, Kuala, Jalyakanj, Damboiladinj, Lalambi Dam, and Shashi. Currently, several of the projects are under different phases of resuscitation. 
We value the health and education of the people, and our capable government has released funds to increase the number of schools and clinics to reduce the distances people must walk to access these facilities. C.D. Albert Ngilia, the acting chairman of ZANU-PF from Matabeleland South, stated that they have made progress towards snatching the Bight Bridge West seat from the opposition, 